today I will be sharing with you guys the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks and I will be doing some lip swatches for you guys so that you can see what it looks like on my lips. In front of me I have seven colors. Originally I had picked up six colors in the Sephora VIB sale and these are all the colors. I end up going back and picking up one color because I realized I did not pick up like a pink. Was on the fence of what I should get Burling. Jeffrey or backstage Bambi and I end up going with the color Jeffrey so that's the seventh color so those are the colors I will be swatching for you today I also have in front of me two lip liners which I will be using specifically for two of the colors also in front of me I have the Sephora ultimate oil and gel lipstick remover and this is what it actually looks like and this stuff is amazing I have no idea how I never saw anybody actually talking about this in any of their haul like I love watching haul videos and learning about new products but like I never saw anybody spoke about this and this thing works amazing it removes every single speck of lipstick like it says apply leave for 30 seconds and then wipe off and that's exactly what it do it takes every single thing off I've used this with my lime crime velveteens and this will great with it i've also used it with my me now these are the liquid i believe lip gloss lipstick stains that i got off of ebay and this is a pain to remove if you don't have the proper makeup remover this works wonderful with this as well and um yeah i don't understand why this is not getting any love at all right now I believe they have it for five dollars well I got it for five dollars originally it's like nine dollars on Sephora but it's going for five dollars right now and I'm so happy that I actually picked up back up off these and I just happened to stumble across this when I was on the Sephora website so this is something I will highly highly recommend again it is the Sephora ultimate oil and gel lipstick remover it reminds me of my um my mac what is it cleanse of oil but this is just in a gel like consistency so yeah thumbs up for that and also i just have my chapstick that i will be using so let's get started with the swatches and as you can see i picked some colors that range from the lighter shades to medium to darker shades so that's exactly the order in which i will be swatching it so the first color we're going to start off with will definitely be the one one of the most popular selling color which always seems to be out of stock and this one is called lolita and this is kind of like an idea of what the color look like from the box again for those of you who like watching what the package look like this is what the box look like and this is what the actual color look like all right, so I already applied a little bit of my chapstick and now I'm just going to do a swatch on my hand first for you to see what the color look like. So that's what it looked like and now I'm just going to start applying it on my lips. So this is Lolita and this one is considered a dusty rose color. And this is what it looked like when it's completely dried. Moving on to the next color. Quickly before I move on to the next color, I want to show you guys how well this stuff works. So I have a baby wipe and this is kind of what the top of it looks like. And as stated, a little goes a long way. You really don't need that much. So about this much and you apply it to the lips and leave it for 30 seconds and then remove.
as you can see everything is off the lip and I love this because it don't leave like a sticky weird feel on your lip after using it so let's continue with the swatches next we have this is the color Jeffrey and this one is considered a hot pink Next up, it is the color called a go go, and this one is a bright orange red color. This I cannot wear on its own because it just do not work for me. So I have to wear it with a brown lip liner, and that as well I still have a problem with it. It's a color that I have to kind of get used to and play around with a little more because so yeah, I just feel like this one is not working for me. Otherwise, I will have to probably mix it with another color and just create my own lip color But I will still swatch it for you guys to see how it looks on my lip And I also have the brown lip liner that I will be pairing this with so let's move on with these swatches So here we have a go go and as I said I am really not feeling this color I still have to play around with it so yeah this is what it looks like Next up we have Bohu 5 and this one is considered like a deep raspberry and I forget to show you guys what the Agogo look like dry and next to that is the Bohu 5 again this is what it looks like on my lips Next up is the color called Outlaw and this one is a brick red and as you can see it's a very vibrant red color. And this is a close up of what it looked like dry. So that's it right here. Next up we have the color called Vampira. This is what it looks like. It is a deep reddish burgundy and this is another color that I definitely have to wear a lip liner with because wearing it on its own I don't like how it look on my lip and even though I pair it with a lip liner I am still kind of like on the fence with this color as well. So a go go and vampiria i have to work a little more with these two colors but the lip pencil that i usually match it with is called vino and this one it is from mac so this is what i will be pairing it with so let's continue with the swatching So this is what Vampira look like on me and this one I absolutely do not love. I try working with it like I said but it's just not working for me. I will definitely have to mix it with another color for it to work but this is what it looked like on me and uh, the thing with this particular color I noticed that when you apply it, it applies very patchy so you have to apply at least two to three layers to get like an even layered look and then on top of that the more layers that you put the darker the color will be so if you are not into like deep vampy lip colors this I will definitely recommend you stay far away from so I still wanted to do this swatch for you guys to see what it looked like on me and like I said I'm not not loving this color so and this is with it wearing a lip liner as well so let's move on to the last swatch
Last but not least, we have this color, and this one is called Love L U V. This one is considered a rich violet color, and this is another one of her popular selling colors as well. And I've worn these a few times already, so this is my quick take on these. As far as longevity, these are very long lasting. When she say everlasting lipsticks, these are everlasting they don't transfer actually as you can see there's no transfer there's no bleeding it stays put I have a tendency of pursing my lip out of habit it's just something that I do and eventually I notice I would have to like touch up just the center of the lip area after a couple of hours but other than that it stays in place and I love that it is a bit hydrating and it's also creamy even though it is a matte lipstick when you apply it it's very creamy and then you feel it drying and then you feel it starting to mattify on the lips but even though it is a matte formulation it is not too drying on the lips so i love that as well as far as pigmentation these are very pigmented and the colors are very vibrant like if you put more than one layer then it kind of like brings out the color even more so I love these. I am really, really, really impressed with these. And before these, my favorite liquid lipsticks were the Lime Crime lipsticks. But this, uh, these colors, I should say, or this product is actually giving Lime Crime like competition in my opinion. So these I would highly recommend if you want a liquid lipstick that is matte that don't transfer that stays put and it's long lasting and it's not over drying i definitely will recommend these and she have a variety of different shades that you can choose from so i hope you guys enjoy the swatches that i shared with you today as usual thanks for viewing and i will see you guys in my next video bye